okay this will be an interesting one let's see if we can make this one come up a treat let's see how we go wondering how big we're gonna no we don't want that tray it's empty fuck me dead silly how big are we gonna make this gonna make it 400 well actually how big are we gonna make this gonna leave it on 400 anyway we want the detail of it to be shown up so let's see how we can go with this see if we can make it look really nice all right let's see what we've got let's get it out what is it it is it's called conversion how to convert prospects into customers and Taja. It's not Tajay the shop, but anyway, it's Tajay the shape. We're going to use this as our demo. But basically, yeah, it's like, well, trying to make, make business happen. It's all about money in the end. Most people don't go for what they love. They just go for what's lucrative. I'm so over this love of money that people have. Um, I want to build a photocopier one day that's superior to what we've got and if I wasn't into if I wasn't into photocopiers like I am I would, I would not I would not consider myself up for the task I wouldn't consider myself uh, worthy or able to do the job properly uh, I don't want to do something that I'm not interested in I, I want to do something that I really care about and copier systems are what I'm interested in so and my future husband Luigi is also the same kind of in the same kind of mind to build a superior copier system on being passionate about how they how they supposed to be um, how they're supposed to be as opposed to the shit we have today we've got to build something superior something that's never been tried before and it's got to reflect how much Luigi and I love the subject of photocopiers and making the world a better place by creating a copier system that's superior to what we have today and you know you've got to follow your dreams folks you know too many people are fucking not doing anything that they really want they just want to do everything for money everything's about money these days and it's really it's not a really good way of doing business in the end it might seem business like to care about money and that's it and to watch watch up be so fixated on the on the bottom line but in the end it's if it's not if it's not done with love and care it doesn't work very well and this is what I see in today's copier systems is the poor workmanship and the poor design quality of this equipment it doesn't ma it doesn't add up it doesn't work properly there's too much plastic too much too and the lifespan of the equipment is too short-lived and it just can't go on like this it's not even sustainable to to do business like this to be caring only about money it's not good enough for the planet and for the human race for crying out loud if we continue this bullshit much longer of making things designed for the dump this machine will only last me five years and then i can't get spare parts for it so i'm not happy with the way conic and minolta have designed this particular piece of equipment that i'm working with um i do persevere with it i accept that I'm that I, I don't accept I have to the only reason I accept is because no one else has built anything good and I wouldn't be able to afford I must be honest I had to get this machine on a budget because I'm not rich if we if Luigi and I if our machine was available on on the market today it would probably cost a lot it's too much for me and that's where the whole where you know I don't know I just 
Now I'm tongue-tied. Sorry, folks. I'm not perfect. <laughs> but basically, we've got to redesign the photocopier. I mean, not many people use the photocopier like I do. Uh, but basically, yeah. We've got to redesign the whole bloody thing from top to toe. And we've got to use less plastic. We've got to use less plastic in our equipment. I often find that when I change a toner cartridge on this thing, the toner cartridge sounds like it's going to break or the or the housing where it goes into is going to break when I turn it because I have to turn it really hard and it just goes clack, you know, it's really horrible clack. So, yeah, we've got to redesign how these systems, how they're designed. They've got to be designed so they can also, at the end of their life, be recycled easily. We've got to get more into the recycling of materials rather than using virgin materials uh that's one of the things features built into this new style of copier system that i've got that i'm going to make is that we're going to make sure it's easy to recycle and the actual machine is going to last 60 years we're going to give spare parts and labor uh 60 years worth of use the machine's going to be uh, going to be with spare parts for 60 years not five years and we've got to basically take the money that we earn, or most of it, not all of it, but most of it, and we put it into scientific discoveries like how to end climate change, how to reverse it, and also we, we give to humanitarian efforts to end poverty, or hoping to end poverty. But anyway, that looks interesting. I think now we can call this demo quits.